This is one of the most famous photos ever taken. It's a composition of 32 different images, all pieced together to create a stunning visualization of what we call the Pillars of Creation. Taken by the Hubble Space Telescope in 1995 and retaken in 2014 with better equipment, it showcases three gaseous pillars extending into the cosmos like the outstretched fingers of some great deity. Deep blues give way to a forest green, enshrouding rust-red towers like a cloak, perforated by candy pink stars. Unfortunately, it looks nothing like this in reality. If we were to observe the pillars of creation with the naked eye, it would look something like this, a brownish gray color. We'd still have to be thousands of light years closer to the pillars than we are on Earth. We also have the problem of redshift to deal with. Redshift, in layman's terms, or uh, terms that make sense to me at least, is the gradual lengthening of radiation wavelengths as things move away from each other. This occurs in a few different ways, mainly due to the fact that everything in the universe is hurtling away from each other at insane speeds. Let's say, for example, that a green star is traveling away from Earth. As we observe it, the star actually looks orange, because this green light is traveling at such incredible distances, coupled with the fact that it's moving away from us, that the light that we see from it is losing its energy and the wavelengths are actually getting longer, shifting the green light to orange by the time our eyes see it. Now the problem here is, what if something already emits red light? As the energy is redshifted, it moves from the visible light spectrum to infrared, which the naked human eye can't see. That's where special cameras and equipment on the Hubble and James Webb telescope come in, and they can capture this infrared light that emanates from stars so far away. But how do we get the color that we see in the photos? Luckily, The Verge wrote an article about this already, which I'll actually link in the description. The recently launched James Webb telescope photographs in the infrared spectrum in order to pick up on light that has redshifted out of the visible light spectrum, picking up objects that are 100 times fainter than what the Hubble telescope can detect. Let's take this image of the cosmic cliffs of the Carina Nebula. This is one of the first images taken by the James Webb Space Telescope, released in July of 2022. Like we already established, it doesn't look anything like this in reality. Instead, look at this image more like a map or a recipe. It's made up of multiple exposures of the infrared spectrum. Infrared photos come back to us in a grayscale format, and by narrowing the band of infrared that we're picking up, we can detect specific elements that make up these nebulae and galaxies, like oxygen, hydrogen, and sulfur. Elements with shorter infrared wavelengths, like oxygen, are assigned to shorter wavelengths on the visible spectrum, like blue. Hydrogen, yellow, sulfur, red, so on and so forth. This process is called chromatic ordering, and these assigned colors make up what is called the Hubble palette, one that we're very familiar with even if we don't realize it. This allows us to read these pictures like a map, and we can see that oxygen is much more prevalent in the upper portions of the photo, and sulfur and hydrogen dominate the lower portion. There is also an element of creative freedom. Alyssa Pagan is a science visuals developer at the Space Telescope Science Institute, and it's her job to compile the visual data into something understandable and beautiful. As Alyssa Pagan says, to invoke the sense of awe as we feel as we try to understand these incredible photos. Says Pagan, I particularly enjoy making things feel more ethereal and magical. There's a whimsicality to my approach because it's space. So while these images aren't necessarily true to life, the science behind it actually makes it that much more fascinating and brings a level of understanding to that which is so difficult to comprehend. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching this video essay. It was a ton of fun to do because I absolutely love space. It's, it's crazy. It's absolutely insane to think about. There's so much out there and we're still, we're still in the very early stages of trying to piece all this information together. So we have a couple of straps that are coming out that actually feature James Webb images on them. So one of them is a stylized version of the Pillars of Creation, which looks like this guy, which looks really awesome. It's super bright and vibrant and primarily blue, which is really, really cool. And then we also have this one, if you recognize, this one is the Cosmic Cliffs. It looks super awesome on wrist. It's a great wristband wear. And when you're wearing it, you can actually tell your friends what all the colors mean, because now you know. So uh, we have a bunch more designs coming out next week. You can check out our preview video that we're doing with Jason. He explains all about them and how to get them. And one of my favorite designs is this one. I don't know about the scientific accuracy on it, but I'm, I'm not a scientist, I don't know. 
All I know is I like it. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next one.